Hey everyone, Dr. O'Neill here. I want to welcome you to Grow Gray Matter. This is the first in a series of videos where I'm going to teach you all the medical terminology you need to crush the nervous system so you can focus less on terms and words and more on ideas and application. Let's get our learn on. First, we have center, which means at the center. So a few words to help this stick in your gray matter. Think concentric. So concentric, so con means to come together. Centric means to the center. So concentric muscle contractions are contractions where the muscle is contracting and getting shorter. The muscle is being pulled to the center, to the belly of the muscle. So concentric, traveling or coming together towards the center. The opposite of that is eccentric. So eccentric, center meaning center, ek or ees meaning away from or opposite of the center. So an eccentric contraction is when a muscle is contracting while getting longer. So concentric, traveling towards the center, eccentric, traveling away from the center. So that's concentric muscle contractions versus eccentric muscle contractions. Then we clearly have the central nervous system. So the central nervous system is the portion of your nervous system in the center. So your central nervous system is your brain and spinal cord. And as we'll see in a moment, everything else is the peripheral nervous system. So that is center, which means at the center. Next, we have peri, which means all around. So a few words to help that stick. Uh, periosteum, so peri, all around. Osteum, bone. So periosteum is actually the skin or connective tissue that lines the outside of your bone. So periosteum, all around your bone. Next, we have your peripheral vision. So your central vision, is where you can see things very clearly, see them with great color detail, but you have to be looking right at something. So your central vision, you're looking right towards something. Your peripheral vision is everything out here, all around. So your peripheral vision is not as clear, but it's still very important. So your peripheral vision is what allows you to see all around. Then the important one for here is the peripheral nervous system. So whereas the central nervous system is the brain and spinal cord at the center, your peripheral nervous system is everything that's around your brain and spinal cord. So think sensory receptors, spinal nerves, motor nerves. So peri means all around. Next we have ax, which means axle. So when I think of an axle, I think of the pivot point on a car. So ax gives us the term axon. So the axon is the portion of a neuron that actually sends electrical impulses. When you look at a typical neuron, we have dendrites, which we'll cover in a moment, that receive information. The cell body processes information, and the axon then sends it away. So ax meaning pivot point. Think this is where all the information that's been carried towards this neuron is actually going to be turned and pivoted and sent away. So ax means axle, and the axon would be the key example there. Next, we have dender, which means tree. So a couple of words to help that stick. We have the dendrites. I just mentioned them. So dendrites are tree-like branches of a nerve. So up to 75% of the surface area of a neuron will be dendrites. So whereas a nerve typically just has that one single axon, it can have thousands of dendrites. Uh, some of the neurons in your cerebellum, for example, can have up to 100,000 different connections, different dendrite connections. So this is the branch-like portion of a neuron that receives information and carries it to the cell body where it can be processed and dealt with. Another example is the oligodendrocyte. So site means cell, oligo means few. 
So this would be a cell with a few branches, oligodendrocyte. The oligodendrocyte is one of your glial cells covered in a later video. It actually wraps these branches around your neurons and that's how it myelinates nerves. It covers them with a fatty insulation that allows them to send their signals much, much faster. So the oligodendrocyte. So those are examples of dender meaning tree. Real quick, what is your favorite word that uses one of these terms? What trick do you use to remember difficult terms like this? Leave a comment below to help your fellow students and we will grow gray matter together. Next, we have sin or sim, which means with or together. I've covered this in other videos, but I'm taking a real functional approach. So whenever a term is very important to a system, it will be brought up again if need be. So a few words to help this stick. I like to think of sympathy. So sympathy, you're coming together, you're coming alongside or with someone as they go through something, their agony, their grief. So when you sympathize with someone, you're understanding their mental and emotional state by joining with them. So sympathy. Next, we have synergy. So synergy means coming together, sin, to do work. Erg means work. So synergy, coming together to work. Then the reason it's important here is the synapse. So synapse is at the end of a neuron. The synapse is the space between a neuron and whatever cell it's communicating with. It can be another neuron, it can be skeletal muscle, cardiac muscle, glands, fat, doesn't matter. But the synapse is the place where a nerve is going to be joined with whatever cell it's trying to control. So syn or sim means with or together. Let's cover these next three together, uni, bi, and multi. So uni means one, bi means two, and multi means many. So the reason these are important with the nervous system is three very important types of neurons are unipolar neurons, bipolar neurons, and multipolar neurons. A unipolar neuron only has one extension. The cell body's off to the side, and you just have that one extension running both directions. So unipolar neurons would be your sensory neurons. Bipolar neurons are going to have two extensions, so one traveling each direction. The most common place to find bipolar neurons are in your special sense organs, like in your eye. And then lastly, we have multipolar neurons, which have many extensions. These would be the neuron you generally think of when you're thinking of a typ typical neuron. You do just have the one axon, but you have many, you know, potentially thousands of dendrites. So many extensions. Multipolar neuron, these would be your motor neurons, your motor nerves. So uni means one, bi means two, and multi means many. Real quick, before we get to our weird word of the day, I'd like to ask you a favor. Please like this video if you liked it. Share this video if you loved it. Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to continue on this journey with me so we can crush your coursework and you can grow gray matter. All right, let's get weird with it. I got an interesting word for you here, megram. So I got to kind of walk you through this, but the ME in megram actually comes from the same word root where we get cranium, your head. So grim, think dire, uncomfortable. So this is an uncomfortable condition of the head. So megram is a term you can technically use or that used to be used to describe dizziness or migraines. Learning complex topics is hard. That's why they're called complex topics. But I hope this video showed you that I can help you, that I can lead you down the right path, that we can tackle this topic together, one video at a time, one step at a time, one synapse at a time, until you grow gray matter. But I'm going to do you a favor and throw in my 10-second productivity masterclass to speed this process along. So get your pen and paper ready. Step one. Sleep when you can. 
Step two, caffeine for when you can't. And step three, we never give up. Now go change the world.